It's often said that if the greens are good, golfers are happy. So when a green is struggling, it can be frustrating and leave golfers wondering what's causing the problem. While the green shows the damage, the issue is often the growing environment. Shade is one of the most common reasons why greens struggle. Grass, like all plants, requires light to survive. It's no surprise that when grass mowed as short as a putting green doesn't get enough light, it dies. Limited air movement is also a common cause for putting green decline. Air movement helps grass cool itself and helps a green dry out after wet weather or heavy morning dew. Without air movement, greens stay hotter and wetter longer, which can lead to a host of agronomic problems. When a struggling green is surrounded by trees or located down in a valley, you can bet that shade and limited air movement are big parts of the problem. A lack of drainage can also be a major cause of poor conditions. Saturated soils can lead to disease and rapid turf decline, especially during periods of hot weather. While superintendents can usually identify the causes behind problem greens, finding a solution is not always easy. For example, shade or restricted air movement may be caused by trees located on a neighboring property, by large landforms, or by structures like the clubhouse. In situations like that, the obvious cause of the problem can't be directly addressed but there are usually other ways to make things better. Sometimes the cost of improving growing environments is the obstacle. Removing trees or installing fans around greens can greatly improve turf health, but these remedies can be costly. The same goes for improving drainage, which can be extremely beneficial and also expensive. In most cases, if there is a will and financial support, a solution can be found to improve problem greens. While the solution may not be easy or inexpensive, Investing in better growing environments will yield much better plant conditions for years to come.